The Southern Grind Spider Monkey. The Southern Grind Bad Monkey. The Southern Grind Penguin. See where we're going with this? Definitely an animal theme going. So this must be the Southern Grind Viper. Or maybe the Southern Grind Sea Asp. It's not, not even close. But that doesn't mean it's not an excellent knife. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, today we're gonna check this knife out. This is, check that out, the CG01. I believe that stands for Cary Grant 01. No, I know what it stands for. What do you think it stands for? What is CG? Leave your comments down there. See what, see what you think. Cranky Grandma already taken, so. All right, cool little box. Just looking here. These are the instructions on product quality. And here's a little signed card from Southern Grind. Assembled by, inspected by. And there you go, look at that, isn't that pretty? You know, it feels very Christmassy. Check it out. All right, let me put all this out of the way. Here we go. Flip that open and messed it up right out of the gate. Put that in. There's our cover shot. And check that out. S35VN drop point blade. Look at that. <laughs> now, this also comes in the Tanto. Get that. Let's see how many inches of what we got here. We got one, two, three, about 3.4 inches of that S35VN. And you got the case logo there, case double X. And you have the S35VN though on that side. Just really barely any kind of billboarding here for you guys that aren't into that. It's really interesting. I'm just now noticing there isn't anything to Note that this is a southern grind knife. That's kind of cool. Not that it's cool that they're being left out. It's just kind of cool that there's not a whole lot of people jockeying for recognition. All right, let's close this up. Check out the... Let me tell you the story first about this knife before we get into the handle. I've had this knife for a while now, but on the very same day that I got in the mail, I was going to review it. My arch nemesis channel, JT's Knife Life. Okay, it's not my arch nemesis. That's a, that's a bad way to look at it. It's more like this. It's more like here's JT's Knife Life, and then there's Bizarro Superman, which is me. So everything that he does, I'm kind of like an opposite of. He's really good and really metered in the way he does his reviews and very professional, and he doesn't nervously fidget with his knives the whole time. So he's really awesome. In fact, go check him out. Go check his reviews out. He's He's got a really great channel and I don't know how many of y'all here know about him, but you should give him, give him a look. Don't sub because that would just upset me that, no, no, I'm just kidding. Go sub, go check him out and sub to him. He's awesome. He's got some really cool stuff over there. So anyways, he, he got this knife in, re reviewed it the same day I got it, so I had to hold out a bit and wait, but I'll put the link to his review down there, and I'll put the link to his channel down there. So there you go. So that's kind of the story behind this knife. All right, let's check it out. We got one, two, three, four, five inches. Now you got five inches of this anodized aluminum. Oh, this is so nice. You get in hand, it's nice and cool in your hand. Very smooth, very nicely done. No no super rough edges or anything. It's all smoothed out nicely. Check that out. Now you have left, right, tip up options on this. And on now a lot of people don't like the extra stuff they put over here. Like if they put a filler tab or like this is a little extra tab here for to put the screws in where you're gonna put the clip if you decide to flip it left-handed. I like that kind of stuff. I, I'm kind of like that. I just like any kind of decoration that I can put on a knife almost, I'm willing to do it. So this thing's gonna get a wicked lanyard, you know, crazy. I might even put that, oh, 
Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm just gonna show you later. Oh, where is that? I'll find it. Anyways, so I like that. I know a lot of people don't, but it's kinda got like a little raised ramp there for a filler tab. I'm not even sure that has any purpose besides just being ornamental. Now, got a humongous lanyard hole. You could probably stick three 550 cores through there. At least two, but I I'm, I'm imagine I can get three in there. It's got that standard southern grind short clip there. I know a lot of people you like you people aren't crazy about that, but it doesn't really bother me too much. It'll get you a good little catch there. You can get get in there, it'll stick in your pocket. About yay so. So it's not gonna be super deep or anything like that, but it's gonna be efficient and it will work for you. Alright, now the action on this is really smooth. It's not incredibly bench made anthem like flippy open amazing action, but it's really smooth. So it's gonna open for you. It kind of reminds me of, and I'm not saying exactly like, but it's got that glass on glass feeling of like a like a Sabenza kind of. Like if Sabenza was a flipper and you can get that action out of it, that's kind of like what it is. It's just a shaky dropper with some decent action. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can light, or what do you call that? The straight down one, push button this thing. Yeah, you can push button, ow, it kind of hurts. Best way to do it, just light switch. It's gonna snap right open for you. All right, check that out. Get backspacer here. G10 backspacer, I believe. Let me check, make sure if I'm lying. does not say let me taste it no that's aluminum all right so the backspacer is aluminum on the aluminum here yep mm -hmm. aluminum aluminum I actually didn't taste it just smashed it against my teeth all right so if you buy this it has been Jimmy slash tasted I will desanitize that for you actually that's sanitize it desanitize it be lick it again all right so we'll sanitize that for you when we wrap it up Put a nice clamshell holster on that. You know what I'm talking about. All right, let's keep going here. Feels great in hand. Now, I have one issue. And, all right, well, let's look at the lock. Real quick, we'll look at the lock. Really strong frame lock here. This thing is locked up solid. Nice early lockup. Decent early lock, not super early. And you do have the lock insert here so that you're not rubbing aluminum on on steel, so you're not gonna have to worry about that wearing out for you. All right, here's the issue I have with the knife. When you have it in your right hand, which I'm not gonna have it in my right hand a lot, since I'm left-handed and most of my cutting is gonna be left-handed, even though I did get called out on flipping right-handed the other day. But the truth is, and I'm not lying, I am left-handed, mostly left-handed. I will do it cut like this, so this is not a problem. I have a right-hander for you righties, you get a little pinch on this, on the clip here. When you, if you got it in the hand like this, you can you can feel it working here. Now it's not painful; it's just noticeable. It's just kind of a tad little pinch there. So it's not a deal breaker, but I think if they would bring that clip down a little flatter, if you could get a flatter option on that clip, it would make this knife even better than it is for, especially for the right-handers and the left-handers that your ring finger is gonna hit right there and your pinky's gonna ride the back of it and it's gonna be awesome. So right there, you're awesome. Got this nice jimping up here if you gotta get in there and do some intricate work, pull a splinter out of a bear's paw, something like that. It's gonna work great. Check that out. Have a look-see, all right. Let me get the matching color scale. Don't get many red on red testing here. Check this out here. All right. So we're looking at 4.06 ounces. Really nice for an EDC. Four ounces right around there. It's really good weight. Oh, I didn't do the grams. Hold on one second. Let's check that out. Grams for my European friends. 116 grams. So it's not too heavy. It's really light, the aluminum. Decent action. Like I said, a couple of shakes, you're closed. Really good detent. Check this out. You're not going to be able to shake it open. What's that clicky sound now that I hear it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I discovered something. Huh. What 
is that? It doesn't click open. All right, we'll figure it out. I don't know what that is. I think it has something to do with this insert here. Oh, there it goes. It won't, oh, it didn't go away. I don't know what it is. All right. So I'll figure out the rattle. But it's locked up solid. Shake shut. Really cool knife. Now let me show you some comparisons really quick. Here's a Benchmade grip to compare it to. That's what the grip looks like as far as size-wise next to that. So it's pretty comparable, right? Right there on the edge of being the same kind of blade. Pretty decent closeness on the length of the handle. Now you get a little bit thicker, especially on this grip with the extra liners and G10 on there. It's a little bit thicker. This is really a kind of a nice knife as far as just being slender and in your hand. All right, let's see what else we got. Now if you all have this knife at home, the Kubi. Check that out. So you all have that Kubi. Kind of a similar length there as well. Tell you what, if you guys don't have this knife, yeah, go get this knife. You will not be disappointed. All right, enough of that. Sorry about that, but I'm just saying, if you're all in for a budget knife, that's the one to check out. All right, so there you go. This is the case, CG01. Case, I think Case Grind 01, since this is the first collaboration between the two. Man, you know what would be nice? A little thumb stud right there. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? But who knows? Maybe in the future. All right. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Go check out JT. JT's channel. Once again, I'll leave the... Man, I like flicking this thing. I'll leave the link down there at the bottom. He's got some cool stuff. He's really, really knowledgeable and knows a lot about modding and whatnot. So check him out. Don't tell him I said Arch Nemesis. Tell him what I meant was m he's the mentor, student, Jedi, Padawan kind of thing. But it's actually not like that at all. It's more Bizarro Superman. And I'm Bizarro. Bizarro. That's me. All right. I guess that's it. Let me know what you think of this knife. Do you have it? Is it on your radar? What do you think for the price? Are you checking it out? It looks Christmassy though, doesn't it? Kind of matches the Jimmy slash Santa Claus guy. Sort of, yeah. All right, I guess that's it, and I'll talk to you later.